watching News Epicenter and we are starting with some piece of breaking news that is coming in from Telangana. And ahead of the Manugode Bipole, the Cyberabad police have raided a farmhouse in the Moinabad area and seized cash to the tune of 15 crore rupees. They have taken three people into custody for allegedly trying to bribe four TRS MLAs. The police also say that the tip-off in fact came from one of the TRS MLAs. Police is saying that one suspect is from Faridabad, another one from Delhi and one is from Tirupati. All the four TRS MLAs are now going to meet KT Rama Rao who is the working president of TRS and may also meet Chief Minister KCR. Let's first listen in to the political reaction and also the reaction that has come in from the Commissioner of Police. BJP is known for toppling state governments across India. But one thing is clear out today that KCRG's MLAs are not for sale. Using Swamiji's and many other political brokers, Bharatiya Janta Party leaders were caught red-handed today by pressurizing MLAs, four MLAs of TRS to shift sides to Bharatiya Janta Party offering hundreds of crores and contracts just before the Munugod by-election. KCRG's MLAs informed police that BJP has been pressurizing them and today police has caught them red-handed. Swastika is now joining me live from Hyderabad. Swastika, the TRS is alleging that this was some kind of Operation Lotus which was happening. What really has happened given the nature, serious nature of allegation? Have you got a reaction from the BJP and when did these raid happen? Well, we're still awaiting a reaction from the BJP but to give you an exact sequence of events, this evening, rather, there was a raid by the Cyberabad police where they went to a farmhouse in Moinabad area, outskirts of Hyderabad, where they found three leaders, three identified persons uh, uh, by the name which the TRS alleged belonged to the BJP and four MLAs uh, holding negotiations. This was done based on the tip-off of the TRS MLAs who said that these three individuals who came from Delhi, Faridabad, and one from Hyderabad, identified as Mr. Nandu Kumar, uh, were trying to A, bribe them with cash, with government contracts, and also at the central level and cabinet positions at the state government level if the BJP comes to power next year. Now, in the evening, the raids were carried out by the Cyberabad police, where we are learning through our sources that Cash to the tune of almost 15 crores were seized along with some other documents. Now, the allegations, in fact, put forth by the TRS side is that all the three leaders are linked to a union cabinet minister. Not just that, they have been thoroughly holding negotiations with not just these four MLAs, but other leaders from the TRS as well, trying to buy them off by offering them cash and government contracts. And based on that tip off, after holding negotiations for almost a month, uh, one of the MLAs have told me that they finally met today and they gave a tip off to the police to come and crack down on all the three accused who have now been taken into police custody. Okay, so talking about these three accused as a... Uh, uh... As you're picking up from the police that they are from different cities, also uh, from Delhi, um, is this link to, you know, how is the link with the BJP being established here by the police? That is an allegation, remember, which is being put forth by the TRS side. The police so far has not established any links with any political parties. They say that they have, in fact, taken three individuals into custody. For the questioning is underway, they did raid the 
farmhouse in Moinabad area acting on the tip off of the TRS MLAs, but the a police commissioner there of Cyberabad did not really mention what party or which party or which organization these three individuals were associated with. That allegation is in fact coming in from the side of the TRS. Remember, a senior TRS leader told me that all the three are associated with a union cabinet minister who is also a prominent face from the state of Telangana. But all of these are unfounded allegations at this point in time, if you talk from an investigation point of view. Swastika, stay with us. Let's listen in to what uh, the soundbite of the police commissioner of Cyberabad is. And then I go back to Swastika for the final comments. Particular information Have you managed to speak to the BJP to get a reaction from them? Swastika, if you can hear me. Swastika, if you can hear me, my question is, since these allegations are being leveled against the BJP, have you got a reaction from them? Well, Maria, we've reached out to the BJP and they have uh, clearly told us that there is no involvement from their side because the police itself has not clarified who these leaders are associated with. They say that allegations put forth from the TRS side is completely baseless and unfounded at this point in time. They say none of the three uh, individuals identified in that particular video that we are play playing out on our screens right now, Nandu Kumar, Simha, who are said to be uh, individuals who have flown in from Faridabad, Delhi, as well as one from Hyderabad, uh, have no authority or positions within the party. So at this juncture, the BJP definitely says it's not a setback, A, it's okay. not an embarrassment. These are the cheap tactics they say are being adopted by the TRS side because they are sensing defeat in Munugodu and they are also sensing defeat in the upcoming 2023 assembly elections. It will be interesting to see how the BJP counters several allegations. We also have to wait on what the police investigation has found so far. But to put out facts simply, okay. a farmhouse raided, 15 crores cash seized for TRS MLAs alleged that they were holding negotiations with members of the Bharatiya Janta Party who were okay. trying to allegedly, allegedly buy them uh, with cash, government contracts, as well as ministerial positions at center and the state level, provided the party comes to power next year. So all of this completely based on allegations. Remember, because of Munugodu Bipol, which is turning out to be one of the costliest Bipoles in a recent collective memory, okay. it is turning out that cash seizures have been happening on a regular basis. And the police say this could be linked to one such incident as well. So further investigation still okay. underway to ascertain who these three individuals are who allegedly tried to buy off the 40 RSMLs. All right, Swastika Das, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for getting us that piece of breaking news that it was coming from Telangana. Shifting focus to our top debate this evening, the majoritarian debate raging in India over the rise of Rishi Sunak to the post of Prime Minister has taken a fresh twist with the statement of MIM Chief Asaduddin Owesi. After multiple opposition leaders said that India must take lessons from Britain over the appointment of the member of the minority community to 10 Downing Street, Owesi said he wishes to see a hijab-wearing woman as the Prime Minister of India one day. The BJP hit back at Owesi, accusing him of duplicity, saying he should first appoint a hijab-wearing woman as the president of his party and then discuss the post of the Prime Minister. This comes just a day after the BJP countered the opposition listing members of the minority community who have held the post of President, Prime Minister as well as top positions in the judiciary and the armed forces. As the war of words continues to escalate, the big question emerges, has the debate 
gone out of hand and deteriorated into provocative political pot shots. Before I get the guests, here's what happened today. British Asian Rishi Sunak's ascent to the high seat of power in the UK has triggered a massive political storm in India. A day after several opposition leaders lamented that such a situation is not possible in India because of a majoritarian government, EIMIM chief Asaduddin Owesi has added fuel to fire. I said that after my life or my life, a hijab pen will become a prime minister of India. Uwesi's remark was immediately criticised by the BJP, who asked him to look no further than his own party. नफरत के जो एक के बाद एक इस तरह के नफरती लोग हैं, उनकी इस तरह के बयान ही उनकी जो है रोजी रोटी है। अपने परिवार के अलग, परिवार से अलग किसी हिजाब वाली महिला को जो है वो चुनाव लड़ाएं और जीताएं। Let's have the charity from home. When will a hijabi woman become the president of MIM party? There is a Bharat Badnami brigade which has a sunky sunup to use even Rishi Sunak issue. Even the opposition steered clear of Obasi's pitch for a hijabi as prime minister. Why do you why do you think of this as being a communal thing? Anybody in this country, no matter what community, what religion. Can aspire to be prime minister. There's no problem at all about that. OBC also accused the BJP of attempting to eradicate secularism and equal opportunity in the country. But the fact of the matter is that there are no women MPs, MLAs, or even office bearers in his own party. So is it politics or provocation? Joining me now, Shantanu Gupta is an author, Waris Patan, national spokesperson of MIM, Dr. Zina Shrokat Ali is Director General of Wisdom Foundation. Waris Patan, a hijabi M, uh, Prime Minister. Is this not pure minority push for getting merit? <clears throat> well, Maria, first and foremost, let me congratulate Mr. Rishi Sunak for being appointed as the Prime Minister of United Kingdom. And uh, I feel that if a minority person wearing a kalawa in his hand, a Hindu, can become the Prime Minister of uh, UK, why can't a Muslim woman become a Prime Minister of India? A hijabi woman can become a Prime Minister of India. Inshallah, Taala, we have faith in the Constitution. We live in democracy, and anything can happen. Tomorrow, she might become Prime Minister. Hmm. So, what wrong did we say? And that day, India will be declared truly secular. The day a Muslim Prime Minister is made in the country. But what has the BJP done? There are so many states where the BJP is in power. Show me from data available to you before the country hmm. how many. Ladies, women, they have given the uh, post. How they don't even give tickets to Muslim women to contest the elections. Okay. They don't even give. Forget about Muslim women. Even Muslim men are not given any okay. opportunity uh, to contest the elections. So how do we Patan, come forward? And in, how can they talk about secular? Before I bring secular? in Shantanu Gupta, I I will remind you of the data that I actually have of MIM women representation. You have not given a place of yes. pride to the women in your party. And Telangana 2018 assembly polls. You contested eight seats, won seven seats, women candidates, zero. Bihar 2020 assembly polls, contested 20 seats, women candidates, zero uh, percent, one, five, all male. Maharashtra 2019 assembly polls, contested 44 seats. Uttar Pradesh uh, 2022 assembly polls, contested 95 seats, women candidates, five. My, my point, you know, and the Lok Sabha elections 2019, you contested three women candidates, zero, one, two seats. This is also a data that, that is before you. So, shouldn't you practice what you preach? Well, yeah, kindly look into the data also. I'll speak about Maharashtra. Maharashtra, we have a Muslim president lady of Maharashtra. In Mumbai, we have a lady president. She's a uh, lady for MIM. We just now we are contesting elections in Gujarat for the first time, the ML elections are upcoming. Hmm. We have declared till now only four seats. 
out of that four seats, the first seat which our party president Asad Obaisi declared was of a lady. She is a Dalit lady, our Dalit sister from Ahmedabad, Dani Limla. And she is campaigning it. Kindly see the crowd which she is gathering. The Muslims, Dalits, Hindus, Gujaratis, everybody is accompanying her. Not only women, even men are accompanying her. So out of three seats declared till now, when the Gujarat election is yet to be declared, we have already given ticket okay. to one of our sisters. Sh and let the coming days. We have, we have got corporators. We have got corporators from other community as well in our party. Shantanu, so you cannot you know just point? say that. Show me okay. from the BJP how many women so have they if, given if tickets. So if, if the MIM is making the point that the real inclusive diverse India would be a hijabi prime minister, that can be given a thought by various political parties. Why object to it and call it communal? I think nobody is objecting to it. I think it sounds like uh, utter frustration of a Hindu becoming uh, uh, the prime minister of UK. Uh, and you already Let's have Varis Patan and Shantanu Gupta on the screen now, please. Yes, yeah, go and ahead. you've hmm. already shown, Maria, the data that how the representation of a hijabi woman in the cadres of AIM, AIMM, their MLAs, their MPs, the various can candidates. And Varis Patan has given some examples, one hair, two hair. <laughs> that doesn't mean the uh, woman representation. Why didn't from tomorrow? If you want to walk the talk tomorrow, from us, instead of Asaduddin Owaisi, someone else, a hijabi woman, should be the president, right? And then only he can talk about someone becoming the the, the prime minister. Point number one. Point number two. Let's not take it from Rishi Sunak. He's not become the prime minister of UK because only he's a Hindu. Because only he's uh, uh, wearing kalava. He's a second generation uh, Brit. He went to best of the schools. He fought hard. He's a MP from there, and he lost in fact a month back. And now finally the Tory MPs elected him. So don't 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 take it from from merit that because he's a Hindu because he's a he's a Dalit because he's a Muslim I think come out of this come up I think Narendra Modi has shown meritocracy from last seven years try to live in the era of merit meritocracy it's a very different era. Okay okay Val Varis Patan. But did we ever thought that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will become a Prime Minister someday of the country? Just eight years back, we nobody knew. We were having Advani ji. Now they have sidelined him. But Narendra Modi became the Prime Minister of the country. And why can't why can't a woman become the Prime Minister of this country? Why can't a Muslim woman become a Prime Minister? Why can't she become the Chief Minister? Is there any embargo to that? No, nothing. They can. But the target of the BJP is always to see that the Muslims are kept back. There is a war created. There is a war waged by the BJP against the Muslim. Take it from hijab. Take it on madrasa. Talk about the prayers. Everything. The it is against the Muslim. Even the food habits. We want to eat halal food. They are objecting to that. Not only that. Even the festivals are objected to. Even see if garba is played, ramlila is played on airports. We have no objection. You can play. It's a festival time. But if a Muslim man offers namaz anywhere in the corner of an airport or a station, there will be a fire against him. Police will question him and so many things will go against him. Well, so why, why they are trying to destroy the secularism of our great nation? That is why we say that the BJP is killing, they are destroying the diversity of our great nation. No, no, but, they but, are but, not following the constitution. I, I'm the just constitution looking at speaks about what, equality. what kind of analogies that are being drawn in the first out. place. If, if something has happened in uh, UK, just look at what we have achieved in India. The f third president of India was who? Zakir Hussain. We have had a minority, yes, a, you know, I, minority prime minister for ten years, a Sikh prime minister for ten years. We have had a long list of constitutional heads who have been from the minority community. Why can't that be appreciated? Rather than giving this kind of spin, Varis Patan. See the appreciation. That what I said that day India will become fully secular when they appoint a Muslim prime minister of the country. That day we will say that yes, the secularism, pluralism. But still presidents, but Ali so in the Hamad, all of BJP them have era, been. such kind of thing could happen. Gyani Zail Singh from the Sikh community. Uh, they, they are president. I am talking about. You show me from data available yes, at your Muhammad end. Yes, Muhammad Hadadullah, the, the women. You had a former chief justice Muslim. as well. How many Muslims? During the BJP era, how many women have been given portfolios? Forget about it, how many ministers are there today, Muslims in the BJP government, in the cabinet? Hmm. None. After Mukhtar Abbas, Nakhivan, nobody is there. Shanawad Hussain is nowhere to be seen. So they don't want the Muslim representation. How do they succeed? So okay. we are the minority, the largest minority. We live in democracy. We have a right. We have a okay. right to become prime okay. minister. We have okay. a right to uh, become chief Dr. minister. Dr. Zina Shakhtar, how are you the looking BJP at government does not. This, push by, this push by MIM? 
quite surprised that, you know, when this question of a, a prime minister for the country is raised, the first thing is that the most popular leader, there's an election. And whoever is elected as the most popular leader, as the most well-known leader, it becomes the prime minister of a country. Hmm. Now, any woman can uh, opt for that post, whether she is a Muslim woman, whether she is a Dalit woman, whether she is a Christian woman, whoever it is, can contest that post. There is absolutely no denying it. But what surprises me is that the qualification of a prime minister, which should be, uh, you know, which should be meritocracy, which should be, which should be, uh, you know, professionalism, which should be expertise, which should be competence, should be qualification. These are the requisites. Hmm. You make hijab a requisite. That is what is surprising me. Okay. Had, uh, you know, uh, I, I was quite surprised that, of course, a, a woman can contest. Of course, a Muslim woman can contest and she would be very welcome. To be the prime minister of this country, because we are a, a, a you know a multicultural nation, and nobody has to give us any examples or any lessons in that. We are the oldest in the field here. But the you know, the surprising part of it is that when you say that she has to be hijab clad, and you make that into a prerequisite, that is surprising. What should be your prerequisite is her education, is her you know is. Is her clarity? Is okay, Vice President, did her, did her, did uh, the party go too far in saying hijab clad? It could have been just a Muslim woman or just a woman it. argument. But the whole point is that you know why do you well, make hijab? Well, well just women? now. Yeah. There are Muslim women cutting across uh, India. Well, just all now, Zina Shaukat Ali was. Uh, uh, to congratulate. Just, uh, May I make my point, to Madam, to please? Madam, zone. if you lower is her feather, I will be able to make my point, Maria. Otherwise. Yes. I, I think that is extremely important. Well, well, but well, madam. That, you know, a hijab clad Muslim woman, that is very surprising hmm. because, uh, you know, that is not a prerequisite. The pre okay, fine. Is, fine, you have made your point, ma'am. You have made your point. Yes, Varis Pathan, quickly. Yes. Well, well, just now I was listening to what Zina Shokat Ali was saying. She was speaking about the qualification. There is to be a qualification. Now, may I ask her, what is the qualification of our present Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi? We don't know his degree also. And what problem does she have for hijab? If a hijab wearing woman, we say, Modi said, Beti bachao, Beti padao. That time we said that our daughters wants to study, but you don't allow them to study. Uh, we want our daughter to have in one hand a computer, a laptop, in other hand, she should have a Quran and on her head she must wear a hijab and one day she becomes a good lawyer doctor engineer and why not become a prime minister of the great nation india what stops what prevents why why is the problem with the hijab hijab is just covering of the head we have not riding our brains the brain is active it is only heading the head if she will become prime minister muslim representation you are talking about you show me what is the muslim representation in the bjp uh, era Okay, what is how many Muslims Gupta, have this question of Muslim representation is the BJP finding it difficult to, to explain? To contest elections? See, every party put candidate based on their availability. I think same similar question should be asked. How many Buddhists, how many Jains, how many Sikhs? Every party, including AMM, make to contest, right? Uh, uh, Waris ji is saying that uh, Indian, India will become completely secular when a hijab wearing female with the will become the prime minister with the same logic AIMM, AIMIM will become fully secular when a Hindu female become the president of AIMM what kind of logic is that let's talk merit if the person is popular if the person is what popular kind of people, logic is get, that here yeah. she gets I'm it. talking it's about the country you are talking she about my party she can be the prime minister India India has never stopped yeah. anyone yeah. With did I say be it Maria Shakil be it Azim Hazan Premji be it, be it uh, Mohammed Azuruddin Someone who is married always reached in top in India. So I think India doesn't have a problem. Yeah, Varis Patan, his Akas want to create a, session, a sensation or want to run on TV debates. I think that's their claim to fame in every TV debate. That's all. Varis Patan, I'll give you the final words. Please go ahead. Well, these are nothing but conjectures and surmises which they are coming up with. We say that, I did not say that from our party. We say a hijab wearing Muslim woman from our country, she will become the Prime Minister. Did anybody expect that Rishi Sunak will become the Prime Minister of Britain? No. Minister, ask, ask, ask. You forget about it. Our party has got women representations. Enough women representatives better than the other parties. Start from your home house. Charities Our party have got a huge number of Muslim women representation as well as other uh, from our sisters also, Hindu sisters also. We gave ticket to seven Hindu sisters in Ahmedabad to contest election in Gujarat. Out of that, four of them won the election. See, barely been.
I was silent when you were making your point. I know truth is bitter, but you will have to listen. Don't just make a statement to come. See, I was very quiet and silent when you were making your foolish submissions. Okay. okay I was okay. very quiet and silent Haan. when Santanu was making his foolish submissions. But when I am making some thirty points, seconds, please try to interject because Paris, I know the Paris truth Putan, is bitter. Thirty seconds and they quickly. Listen to the I have truth. to move on to the next issue. Yes. Thirty seconds. Haan. Quickly. Well, I, well, I am making a simple point that what we have, what we need to say that huh. in India we live in democracy, follow the constitution, okay. and one day a Muslim woman wearing hijab can become the prime All minister. All right, Varish Dr. Zina Shaukat Ali, and Chantanu Gupta, thank you so much for joining us. Shifting focus to debate two, as the rupee continues to slide, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has made a unique pitch to the central government. He wants the center to introduce currency notes with Lord Ganesh and Goddess Lakshmi's. image along with mahatma gandhi giving the example of the indonesian rupiah which boasts the image of lord ganesh kejriwal said the move will help the economy recover and end its continuous decline while calling the proposal laughable the bjp has hit back at the amadi party calling kejriwal a chunavi hindu accusing him of making the pitch just for the elections namely the fight in gujarat and himachal pradesh the bjp has accused him of trying to shed his aurangzebi image accusing him of trying to send hindus to jail for bursting crackers on diwali damadi party has stuck to its stand calling the delhi chief minister a true thug but is is this nothing more than an election gimmick by a party trying to expand its political footprint भारतीय करेंसी के ऊपर एक तरफ गांधी जी की तस्वीर है वो वैसे ही रहनी चाहिए लेकिन दूसरी तरफ श्री गणेश जी की और श्री लक्ष्मी जी की तस्वीर भारतीय करेंसी के ऊपर लगाई जाए जिस प्रकार से यू टर्न किया जाता है आज ही हमारे सामने पूर्णतः उतर के आ रहा है जनता उस वीडियो को देखे जिसमें केजरीवाल जी कह रहे थे कि मैं तो किसी भी कीमत पे उस राम मंदिर में आराधना करने पूजा करने नहीं जाऊंगा ये तो एक फेस सेविंग प्रोग्राम है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी चूंकि इन लोगों ने इतना गाली दिलवा दिया है अपने मंत्रियों से अपने गुजरात प्रदेश अध्यक्ष से हिंदू देवी देवताओं को की अब इनको समझ में नहीं आ रहा है की हम कौन सा चेहरा लेके जनता के बीच में जाए मुझे हैरानी है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी भारत की करेंसी पर महालक्ष्मी जी और गणेश जी की तस्वीरें लगाने का विरोध कर रही है मुझे बहुत आश्चर्य है हम तो आस्तिक लोग हैं हम ये मानते हैं कि भगवान के आशीर्वाद के बिना बड़ा काम तो छोड़िए कोई छोटा काम भी सफल नहीं हो सकता Joining me now, Shahzad Poonawala, national spokesperson of the BJP, Priyanka Kakkar, Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson. Priyanka, the Indonesian rupiah that Kejriwal talked about is doing very badly, and the Ganesh photo on it hasn't helped arrest its slide. So why bank on superstition? Maria, good evening to all of you. But before I begin this, Maria, I I am not sure if I can debate with Shahzad ji since his own party MP. has asked that inka bahishkar kiya jaye either he calls up his mp and seeks permission before he sits before me in the debate and then we can proceed this is very confusing for me i'll uh, create help you resolve aapka your aapka bahishkar karna hai shahzad ji aapka priyanka ji aapka sawal samajh gaya aap sawal ka uttar bhi le lijiye parvesh verma ji ne to kisi samuday ka naam nahi liya tha wo to aatanki dangai aur aataiyon ka naam le rahe the parantu aapne ek aatai aatanki aur dangaiyon ko ek samuday se kaise jod liya to main aapatti darj karta hu ki aapne ek samuday vishesh ko aatanki aur logon se joda hai dusri baat par main sawal kiya unhone meri baat kar hi di let's put the focus back back on this discussion nahi par iske alawa main apna point kar lu fir priyanka ji sir consolidated jawab dete hain dekhiye aaj kitna acha divas hai ki jo log kal tak aurangzeb hi mansikta se 
अग्रसित होकर पटाखों पर प्रतिबंध लगा रहे थे हिंदू पर्व पर प्रतिबंध लगा रहे थे आज ऐसा चुनावी यूटर्न किया है सियासी धर्मांतरण उसका ऐसा हुआ है कि जिस पार्टी में गोपाल इटालिया मंदिर और कथा को गाली और अपमान दे रहे थे जो मंदिर का विरोध कर रहे थे राम मंदिर का विरोध कर रहे थे ये कहते हुए कि नानी ने कहा है मस्जिद तोड़कर मंदिर बनाए जाना नहीं है मंदिर के बदले राम जन्मभूमि पर जो बिल्डिंग बनाने की बात कर रहे थे और जो कश्मीरी हिंदुओं के नरसंगार पर ठहाके लगा लगा कर हंस रहे थे आज वो लोग कह रहे हैं कि मां लक्ष्मी की और गणेश जी की तस्वीर होनी चाहिए करेंसी नोट पर मैं स्वीकार करता हूं ये जो चरनी है मैं इसका स्वीकार करता हूं एक ही सवाल है मारिया जी ये तीन बिंदुओं पर मुझे स्पष्टीकरण दे दे कि ये जो नोट बनेगी लक्ष्मी मां और गणेश जी की तस्वीर के साथ वो किसी शराबी घोटाले और हवालाबाज घोटाले के हाथ में नहीं आएगी दूसरी जो कसाई हाथों से खून से सने हाथ होंगे जिसके और जो जानवरों को काटता है उसके हाथ में नहीं जाएगी जो भ्रष्टाचार करता है विजय नायर से मनीष सिसोदिया जैसे लोगों के उनके हाथ में नहीं जाएगी और ताहिर हुसैन जैसे आतंकियों के हाथ में नहीं जाएगी इसका मुझे आप गारंटी दे दीजिए और हमारा समर्थन ले लीजिए अन्यथा यह बताइए कि यह सीजनल हिंदू वाला कार्ड जैसे सीजनल फ्रूट होता है और आखिरी बात मारिया जी आखिरी बात एक आखिरी बात मैं आपको आप बड़े हिंदू होने का दावा कर रहे हैं ना जटाटवी गलत जल प्रवाह पावित स्थले गड़े व लंब लंबितम भुजंग तुंग मालिकम ये शिव तांडव श्रोतम के पहले श्लोक की दो लाइन है आगे की आप कंप्लीट कर लीजिए मुझसे बड़े हिंदू हैं ना आप बताइए प्रियंका प्रियंका चलिए सवाल का जवाब दे आपका बहिष्कार करना है आपके साथ आपको ऑब्जेक्शन है इस बात से जवाब दे देता हूँ मैंने तो कहा मुझे कतई अब आपका सवाल मैंने ले लिया है मारिया जी मैं जवाब दे दू मुझे कतई कोई ऑब्जेक्शन नहीं आप मुझे केवल इतना गारंटी दे दो कि ये माँ लक्ष्मी और गणेश जी वाली नोट शराब माफिया विजय नायर मनीष सिसोदिया के हाथ नहीं आएगी कसाई जिनके हाथ में खून सते हुए हैं गौ माता के खून से उनके हाथ नहीं आएगी तायर हुसैन जैसे दंगाइयों के हाथ नहीं आएगी इसका गारंटी मुझे दे दीजिए ना यस यस प्रियंका बोलिए प्रियंका आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस वर्बल आपको नहीं समझेगा तो इंग्लिश में बोल हिंदुत्व कार्ड बिफोर द ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट गुजरात इलेक्शन कम इलेक्शन यू डिसाइड टू टर्न हिंदू मरिया आई अटेम्प्ट आंसरिंग बट इट इज वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग फॉर मी दट आई है पर्सन जिनका बहिष्कार करना है and then he's talking about he has some uh, he's putting some conditions attached ki aisa kar denge to hame problem nahi hai inko ma lakshmi aur ganesh ji se kya problem hai pathakon ke upar bhi laga hota hai in currency notes ke upar bhi lag jayega ek achhi shuruaat karni hai arthvyavastha to aapne bilkul dagmaga di hai 25000 kamane pe aap top 10% mein aate hain country ke agar blessings le lenge bhagwan ji ki to usme aapko conditions kyun lagani hai theek hai मैं इसका जवाब देता हूँ नहीं नहीं बट बट नो नो बट नो नो बट आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट सम फैक्ट्स बिफोर वी मूव ऑन द इंडोनेशियन रुपया वन यूएस डॉलर इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट नाइन फाइव इंडोनेशियन रुपया वन इंडियन रुपी इक्वल्स टू वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी रुपया इफ एनी द रुपया द इंडोनेशियन करेंसी इज टम्बलिंग दैट इज द ट्रूथ and are you saying our currency is strengthening i mean it's a very it's a demand that we are saying that why don't you put these pictures because we believe that these the, 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 lakshmi ji and ganesh ji symbolize wealth and prosperity and right now we need blessings we we want to start this work with the blessings auspicious blessings of our gods theek hai maria main jawab de du dekhiye एक तो गजब की बात है हमारे अभी एक एक करके आपके डिबेट में मैंने एक के बीच में नहीं बोला मैं अपनी बात रख सकता हूँ मारिया जी क्या मैं अपनी बात रख सकता हूँ मैं आपसे अनुमति चाहता हूँ कैन आई स्पीक मारिया विदाउट बी इंटरप्टी प्रियंका 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 प्लीज लेट्स पुट फोकस ऑन दिस डिस्कशन दिस एंटायर डिबेट प्रियंका 
has been in fact started by the Amadi Party chief. Mr. Arvind Kejriwal was the one who started this discussion with his press conference today. So you should be able to just listen to all the responses that are coming. Now, Maria, now let me come in. She has spoken her turn. It's my turn. Let me speak. Maria, you'll have to ask them to now step in. Yes, please. It's quite disturbing to me because it's a bahishkar kar. Okay, now. Now all we Maria, are saying is this is, is my is opportunity. The, the time of the debate is running yes. out. Yes. Okay. Maria. Shahzad, quickly. Yes. Not two, hmm. three points. Let's address huh. them very quickly. First of all, I am saying that I have no objection to this idea at all. But because we revere Mal, no uh, please, uh, Maria. No riders. Maria, this the debate won't, okay. the audience okay. won't okay. be able to hear. Okay. 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 Can you please ask your technical yes, team to please, allow no, one no, one at no. a time? Shahzad, make your point. Shahzad, make your point. Make my point if she's yes, interrupting. Yes. I did yes. not interrupt anyone. Yes. 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 May I make my point without interrupting? Yes. Please go ahead. Because we revere Ma Lakshmi and Ganesh ji, I spoke to a large number of religious people today, and they told me, "Beta, ab jab debate mein jaoge, to is Kejriwal ko bolna ki Ma Lakshmi ki tasveer note to gal jati hai, phat jati hai, tur jati hai, kahi aur lag jati hai. Usko kis pakar se chori ke log use karte, terrorists use karte. Ham nahi chahte hamari Ma Lakshmi ka istemal aise ho, to Kejriwal se pehle guarantee le lena. To main unki baat karne karna dusri baat. Itna hi inko agar Lakshmi Ma ka ashirwa chahiye, to apne daftar mein sarkari piche laga dena Ma Lakshmi." लक्ष्मी की तस्वीर जिसमें कि वो कमल के वाहन पर बैठी हुई है और हाथ में कमल लेकर बैठी हुई है आपको किसने रोका है पर जब मौका मिला सरकार में तो पहला निर्णय क्या लिया मौलानाओं की पगार बढ़ानी है दूसरा निर्णय क्या किया धन मन धर्म समर्पित है किसको वक्फ को और तीसरा निर्णय क्या लिया कि राम मंदिर में कतई नहीं जाना है क्योंकि मंदिर क्यों बना है मस्जिद तोड़ के बना है और चौथा निर्णय क्या लिया गोपाल इटालिया को गुजरात का चेहरा बनाया जिसने कहा कथा और मंदिर जो है वो शोषण के अड्डे अब ये सही मायनों में हिंदुत्व के इतने बड़े ये प्रकारक और प्रवर्तक है तो बताइए कि गोपाल इटालिया पर क्या कार्रवाई करेंगे राजेंद्र पाल ने कहा विष्णु ब्रह्म महेश का कोई अस्तित्व नहीं अब वो कह रहे हैं कि लक्ष्मी जी को अब नोट पर डालिया अरे भाई पहले बताइए कि उनको क्या पार्टी से निकाला है अरे मनीष सिसोदिया ने कहा कि राम मंदिर बनाना नहीं है उसके जगह पर आप बना दीजिए कोई बिल्डिंग बताइए उस पर क्या कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए और स्वस्तिक के चिन्ह को झाड़ू मारते हुए दिखाया गया आप बताइए उस पर क्या कार्रवाई की है और आखिरी आर्ग्यूमेंट नाउ इज Who is a better Hindu? No, 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 not a good Hindu. No, no, no. Hindu versus Hindu. No, 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 no. Come on, tell me. No, no, no. Shahzad, you have made your point. Yes, Priyanka, go ahead. Priyanka, go ahead. Yes, yes. Now, this Hindu Virodhi party has broken 350 mandir in Varanasi. There was one mandir from a 250 year old Prachin mandir. Only to build a shopping mall. Your party has written to us, who has said to you, they have written to you, they have written to you, they have written to you, that Delhi government permits us to break 53 temples in Delhi. I don't know if they have written to you, but I am giving them so much to say, because I am feeling sympathetic towards him. But these are facts. You don't need sympathy, but you will have to answer one thing. Please give it a little bit, Priyanka Ji. Please give it a little bit, and you will have to give it a little bit. This is our question, how did this happen? कथा में जाकर आप दहशत की तरफ ताली मारते हैं ये गोपाल इटालियन एक एक करके भाई आप सबसे बड़े अरे भाई मारिया प्लीज मारिया मारिया मेरा समय है बोलने का मारिया प्लीज मुझे संरक्षण दीजिए मारिया यू हैव टू इंटरव्यू चीज टॉकिंग ओवर मी लेट मी मेक माय पॉइंट इट्स माय टर्न टू स्पीक मारिया लेट मी मेक माय पॉइंट लेट मी मेक माय पॉइंट चीज इंटरप्टेड मी ऑन एवरी टाइम यस यस शेहजाद मैंने अभी गोपाल इटालिया का स्टेट ये कह रहे ना हम तो बहुत बड़े फर्जी हिंदू हैं चलिए ठीक है हमको चलिए भाई मारिया ऐसे कैसे डिबेट हो सकती है मैंने उनकी बात सुनी ना मारिया I'm begging you for my time this is justice you have to give to me ना you can silence why are you giving me additional time for breaking the rules प्रियंका प्रियंका you have played the Hindu card you have asked them question about why the BJP has broken temples let him respond you have to listen to him your channel is not a necessary action I am resisting my strong protest that I have heard her out, but your channel is not allowing my words to come. Shahzad, go ahead. Now, if she interrupts, you have to stop her. Now, I have just made you hear Mr. Gopal Italia's iterations that mandir or katha mein jane wale shoshan karte hain, katha mein jane wale dash dash ki tarah taliyah bajate hain. Ye bade hindu hain, hum to nahi hain. 
सिर्फ तांडव श्रोतम का तो इनको एक लाइन नहीं आता वो तो पहले ही शुरुआत में साबित हो गया मैं इनसे पूछता हूं कि अरे बड़े हिंदू आप बताइए गोपाल इटालिया ने जो बोला वो हिंदू विरोधी है या हिंदुओं के पक्ष में है जो राम मंदिर के विषय में केजरीवाल ने बोला उसका स्टेटमेंट भी मैं सुना सकता हूं कि नानी ने बोला है मंदिर नहीं जाना है राम जी वहां नहीं बसते उसके विषय पर आपका क्या स्टैंड है बता दीजिए तीसरी बात जो वक्त के लिए आपने तन मन धन समर्पित किया था क्या किसी हिंदू पंडित को पांच रुपए भी दिया है आपने सरकारी कोष से इसका जवाब दे दीजिए ना क्वेश्चन फाइनल वर्ड यस यस वो पार्टी हैं जिनके मुंह पे राम और बगल में छुरा है और आपके मुंह पे तो राम अच्छा ही नहीं लग रहा आपका बहिष्कार भी हुआ है दूसरा आपने क्या किया आपने अयोध्या में भी अयोध्या में भी स्कैम किया राम मंदिर में वहां पर आपने सुल्तान अंसारी जो एक भगोड़ा है पीओ डिक्लेयर है उससे आपने दो करोड़ में जमीन करी थी और अठारह करोड़ में ट्रस्ट को बेची ये करते आप चंदा चोर है आप आप स, आप बताइए कि वो जो जिन्होंने मंदिर तोड़े 350 सौ पचास वाराणसी में काशी में शॉपिंग मॉल बनाने के लिए उनके लिए आपने क्या किया सीआर पाटिल जी के क्षेत्र में एक मंदिर तोड़ा गया अभी किसी बिल्डर को फेवर करने के लिए आपने क्या किया और आप बहिष्कार होकर यहाँ बैठे हैं मुझे बहुत ज्यादा कंफ्यूजन हो रहा है ये क्या चल रहा है अब पांच सेकंड ले सकता हूँ मारिया जी मैं एक भारतीय मुसलमान हूं पर मैंने राम मंदिर के लिए चंदा दिया केजरीवाल ने कितना चंदा दिया जरा बता दीजिए चुनावी रिसीट जो चंदे की रिसीट आप चंदा चोर हैं मैं बता अब छोड़ दीजिए अब जाइए और बहिष्कार आतंकियों का करना है आपने आतंकियों को पूरे मुस्लिम समुदाय से कैसे जोड़ा ये परवेश वर्मा जी ने नहीं पर आपने जरूर मुसलमानों का बहुत बड़ा अपमान किया है मुसलमान देख रहे हैं मुसलमान देख रहे हैं आपने कैसे अपमान किया है आप अपमान करते हैं उनका रोज दिन सुबह शाम ऐसी पार्टी में होकर जो आपका बहिष्कार आप परवेश वर्मा ने कहीं पर भी समुदाय का नाम लिया तो बता दीजिए परंतु मुझे बताइए की राम मंदिर का अपोज करना है राम मंदिर नहीं जाना है गोपाल इटालिया के बयानों पर एक वाक्य आप नहीं बोल पाए गोपाल इटालिया के अलावा स्वस्तिक की चिंता अपमान करने वाले केजरीवाल के ट्वीट पे एक वाक्य नहीं बोल पाए कश्मीरी हिंदुओं के नरसंहार पे हंसने वाले केजरीवाल पे एक वाक्य नहीं बोल पाए और आप शिव तांडव स्त्रोतम को भी कंप्लीट नहीं कर पाए जाकर पढ़ लीजिए श्लोक पढ़ लीजिए फिर आप इस तरीके का दावा कीजिएगा चलिए आपको बहिष्कार करना है आप केवल बीच में बोलने के अलावा कोई डिबेट नहीं कर पाए पार्टी चीफ प्रियंका थ्रू दैट प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस सो द क्वेश्चन दैट विल बी आज इज is this not hindutva card that you are playing keeping purely and purely gujarat elections in we mind are say yes party. or no we are one party which are sending our people to to buzurgo ko teerth yatra inke yahan par pm cm tax payer ke paise se jaate hain teerth yatra pe hamare yahan par tax payer ke money se hum bechte hain logo ko teerth yatra pe right. what is that priyanka ka we are doing we are doing and and shahzad punawala we are in the studio really appreciate your time thank you so much for joining us on that note we are slipping into a short break after that I'll be getting you an exclusive interview with Lord Meghna Desai on the new team Rishi Sunak. What does it actually mean for India and for Great Britain? Any other